guys, welcome back to Career Mode. We're jumping straight in to this episode number six with a game against Liverpool. And I've put out a, uh, a reserve ish side because I'm trying something tactically. Uh, whether it will pay off or not, we'll have to wait and see. But I don't know whether you remember a couple of years ago um, when Mick McCarthy was at Wolves, uh, he there was a lot of controversy in the press when he played a basically reserve side away at Man United when they had. Uh, like a, a relegation six-pointer coming up in the next few days against Burnley. And there was all this hoo-ha in the press about whether um, it was the right thing to do, whether it was the wrong thing to do, whether it was fair on the players he had in his current squad, whether it was fair on the fans that were travelling to uh, to Old Trafford for the Man United game. And uh, in the end, it paid off for him. Yes, they, they lost away at Man United. They lost 3-2, although you know it was a very close game and they could have actually got something from that game. And... Uh, they did, in the end, end up beating Burnley, and uh, you know his tactical gamble was justified in the end. So uh, I tried this in the in this episode. We got this first game here against Liverpool. You've seen them go one 0 up, almost go two one up there. Seen them go one 0 up with uh, a goal from Suso, who I actually don't really know much about as a as a football fan. I'm not, he's kind of new on the scene for Liverpool, but uh, he put them one 0 up. Phil Bardsley, our right back, came back and brought it back to one one, and that is. As you can see, how that game ended. So uh, this is where the tactical gamble comes in. We then go into this second game against Wigan with a full strength side, and uh, fuck all happened in the first half. So uh, to start off with, it wasn't the best of uh, the best of choices. But we come into the second half, bringing on James McLean for uh, Kazuki Honda, who did actually pick up an injury. So uh, we were going to try and push on and try and you know get the three points. And straight away after half time, Adam Johnson there with a rifled effort into the bottom corner and. Uh, we go 1-0 up, which is a great start to the second half. And uh, you can see in the replays, again, you know, left the replay, and it's a great example of the uh, first touch engine brought into this FIFA 13. First touch there, makes the ball sit up. It's not the cleanest of touches, but uh, actually sits the ball up perfectly for a volley across keeps into the bottom corner to put us 1-0 up. And uh, we're going to rest Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's been uh, touring, tearing teams apart for us so far this season and I uh, thought we'd give him a rest Stephen Fletcher there gets played through one on one and unfortunately can't rifle the ball across keeps into the bottom corner didn't quite have the uh, the tactical ability not tactical technical ability to uh, get the ball across keeps into the bottom corner but uh, Lance there for Wigan does have technical ability and uh, after Kone's first effort comes back off the post he has a snapshot with a second and uh, Skews it quite wide, but Lanz is there to rifle it in, and we nearly, nearly go in front, back in front there after some good football. But uh, unfortunately, that's how that game ended at home against Wigan. We do only get a one or draw, and uh, with Honda out for three weeks, but uh, Jermaine Jones does come back. But that tactical gamble flops. It absolutely flops. You can see on the right-hand side we do still sit in uh, fifth place in the table. You can see here as the uh, the display comes up. But uh, we're going away to second place Manchester City. And uh, I was kind of hoping to come into the back of this game on uh, some good form rather than uh, two home draws. But alas, that is how we go into this game against Man City. But we did, you know, state our intentions early on. Stephen Fletcher plays in the ball into Adam Johnson against his, uh, his old club. But his uh, rifled left foot shot is well saved by Joe Hart and Carlos Tevez. Was doing that all game. I don't know why. He's just City were trying, or they appear to be trying to play some nice flowing football. And that every now and again, Carlos Tevez will pick the ball up 30, 40 yards out from goal and absolutely have a whack. But uh, Joe Hart, again, how good is he? People say th there's a whole debate about whether Joe Hart's overpowered. And uh, oh, as they get another chance from that corner cleared off the line, it was really frustrating trying to get uh, some chances against City because they, they defend really well. When you do get a chance, uh, Joe Hart pulls out an amazing save, but unfortunately Mignolet there wasn't able to pull out a great save for us. And Balotelli gets so much power behind this that uh, I think it's Jack Rodwell gets tackled. And then from a dead ball situation, Balotelli with no backlift rifles it into the bottom corner. And now unfortunately we do go 1-0 down. But uh, coming in just before half time here, Adam Johnson again with a left footed shot. And Joe Hart again with a fantastic one-handed save as the ball was going into the top corner. But you can see from those stats... We, uh, we've had a lot of possession, we've had just as many chances, if not the better chances, so a second half, still positive, don't write us out of this game just yet. Craig Gardner with a great turn and a disappointing finish, to be fair, although um, Joe Hart probably would have saved it if it was on target, it would have been nice to work the keeper, but uh, trying to work the keeper, Jack Rodwell fails miserably. How's this for absolutely woeful technique? 
think the word is shank. Don't lean back, son. Get your head over it and drill it right into the bottom corner. But he didn't, thankfully, and uh, we're spared. So, uh, you know, don't count us out just yet. Coming in here with Ox. Tried to drill it back to uh, Louis Saha on the edge of the box. Kind of overplayed it, but Adam Johnson gets on the end of it. Joe Hart doesn't have to make a save as the ball hits the post and trickles wide. And uh, I'm afraid now you can count us out of it. Uh, three games in this episode. Was hoping to get at least four points. And we do, unfortunately, only come away with two. A home draw against Liverpool, a home draw against Wigan, and uh, an away defeat against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. So not entirely what we were after, to be completely honest. But having a quick look through the uh, the squad report here, Q, a, a, Q, a few players have made uh, some decent improvements, although Louis Saha and uh, Diawara actually have... Uh, dropped by a couple of ratings, which is unfortunate. They are getting on a bit, though, and uh, I'm quite disappointed that DOR has dropped off quite this early. But James McLean there, uh, you know, making some good progress, even though he's not, a, strictly speaking, a first-team choice every week. And, again, the same with Danny Rose, making some good improvements. And uh, hopefully that can continue through the uh, throughout the rest of the season and we can uh, keep up some good form and make sure that we keep ourselves in those Europa League positions. But come back next time in Episode 7 when we... Uh, we come up against Arsenal in the Capital One Cup. We beat them on the opening day, so uh, you never know. We might be able to get another shock result and push on through to the next round of the uh, the League Cup. But come back in Episode 7, leave this video a like if you could be so kind. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. There's plenty of FIFA content going on here on this channel, Ultimate Team and Career Mode. So uh, I will see you next time.